23. I'm your news anchor, Layla, and I'm your coder, Reed. This month is Autism Awareness Month. Here's another video that explains a little bit about what it means to have autism. Take it away! Hi there, my name is Charlie and these are my friends, Max, Dev and Sam. When I started Year 6 this year, I was so excited about becoming a peer support leader. Once our group started, I noticed there was a kid in my group who seemed a little different to the others. That was Max. Sometimes I make loud noises, flap my arms and spin round and round because it actually helps me become more relaxed. There is also a lady that comes with me to Charlie's group in case I need to go for a walk or help with understanding what Charlie wants to do in her group. For a while, we were all a bit confused and didn't really know why Max acted differently at times or why he had a helper. Turns out, Max has an autism spectrum disorder. After learning more about autism spectrum disorder, I learned that Max gets upset sometimes because some smells, noise and lots of kids in the same room can be very overwhelming for him. Max's senses, like his hearing, are very sensitive. The lady following Max around is the teacher's aide. Dev, Sam and I decided to get to know Max a little better and it turns out, Max is a pretty cool kid and a great friend. Max thinks a little differently to others and sometimes acts differently too. I guess when you think about it, we are all different in our own way. Like Sam, he needs a wheelchair to move around. I have really curly hair and Dev needs glasses to see well. It's no big deal and being different is what makes us all unique. Did you know that not one person with autism is the same as another? Max doesn't talk much, but we found out that he really likes trains. He knows heaps of stuff about them. That's why we call him Marvelous Max. He knows all the different types of trains and what they are used for. Sometimes though, he only wants to play train games. We all love playing soccer together, so we asked Max to play with us too. He just watched at first, but now on some days, Max loves playing soccer with us. Max loves keeping score. He has a great memory, so that's his job every time he plays with us. Max is really caring too. While we were playing in our playgroups the other day, Dev's glasses fell off and Max yelled out for everyone to stop while he ran over and picked them up for him. He always remembers everyone's news day too and he reminds us just in case we forget. Remember, it's always better to include everyone when you play so they don't feel left out and sad. If you're not sure how to do this, then make sure you ask your teacher on ideas to make playtime a better experience for everyone and to make sure no one is left out. Also, have a talk about how different you are from others. Remember, being different is awesome. Even if kids seem a little different on the outside, if you really get to know them, then they could end up being one of your best friends. That's how we all became friends. We now call ourselves the Marvelous Max Crew. I bet we all know someone like Max. Although Max is different, he's still a great friend. Being different is what makes each of us interesting and unique. Remember to wear blue tomorrow. Wearing blue celebrates our learner profile of the month. Open-minded and Autism Awareness Month. Let's be a sea of blue on Wednesday, Patriots. Moving on, do we have any birthdays today? <laughs> we sure do. Happy birthday to Aaron C. and Miss Opens class. A special staff birthday wish to our fantastic instructional assistant, Miss Chow. Have a great day, everyone. Okay, it's time to find out what's on the menu for lunch. Your turn, Reed. Today for lunch, we are having PB&J to-go box, lean machine combo, hamburger, or cheeseburger. Vegetable, fruit, and side choices are baked beans, Popeye side salad, flavored raisins, frozen strawberry cup, or juice. And don't forget to grab your milk and utensils. Don't forget the All-Pro Dad's Barbecue and Kickball game is tomorrow. There is still time to RSVP. See the flyer that went home in your red folder last week for more information. It's time to wrap up this new show for the day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then be seated for a moment of silence.
Remember, we are living with questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. Bye!